Hi guys, today I'll be talking about body fat. I will explain what is body fat and the different methods of determining body fat percentage, whether they're more or less accurate. I will also show you a very easy and practical method of determining your body fat percentage without the need of any complicated tools or expensive equipment that you can do at your home. So let's go. Our whole body mass can be divided into two different types of mass, fat mass and lean body mass. Fat mass is the part of your body that is composed of fat, which can be either subcutaneous or visceral. The subcutaneous fat is the layer of fat that lies between the skin and the muscle, and it is usually the one that concerns most for aesthetic reasons. Subcutaneous fat is responsible for love handles and bingo wings. Visceral fat is the fat that's stored around organs, and is the type of fat that should concern us most as it poses more of a health hazard and is related to a bunch of chronic diseases. Lean mass is everything that is not fat, or your total body mass minus your fat mass. Lean body mass includes muscles, bones and organs. However, because the last two remains constant throughout adult life, an increase in lean body mass is attributed to an increase in muscle mass. This is why some people confuse lean body mass with muscle mass. The ratio of fat mass to lean body mass defines your body composition. Generally speaking, the higher your LBM to your fat mass, the better or the fitter you look. Simply put, the body fat percentage represents how much of your body weight is pure fat. How much body fat we have depends on multiple factors, some of which are beyond our control such as gender and age, for example women carry naturally more fat than men and older people have more body fat than younger people, and others like diet and exercise we are able to control. Roughly speaking, the average healthy percentage of body fat ranges between 18% and 24% for men and between 25% and 31% for women. Between 12% and 17% for men and 21% and 24% for women is what we would consider lean. Less than these figures are what we'd consider to be as athletic. Specifically, if you want to show a six pack, your body fat percentage should be around 10% or below if you're a man and 18% or below if you're a woman. Although abdominal muscle visibility also depends on genetic factors such as the depth of your tendon and shape of your muscle. We will talk about that in another video. Over 25% for men and over 32% for women would start to be considered overweight. There are several methods to determine your body fat. I'll list them here briefly and I'll compare two of them specifically. The first one is the DEXA scan. It involves being exposed to two different amounts of ionizing radiations of which one is most strongly absorbed by fat. This is the most precise and accurate method to measure your body fat mass and body composition in general, but it involves costly medical equipment and must be done under the supervision of a radiologist. The second method is hydrostatic weighing. It compares your normal body weight to your body weight underwater to determine different densities within your body. It is also very accurate, but again, not for everyone's reach, and it also involves being completely submerged in water. The third method is skinfold calipers. This takes measures of skinfold at different sides of your body and estimates your body fat percentage using specific formulas. It was one of the methods preferred in most gyms now being replaced by bioelectrical impedance machines and it is much less expensive and takes no space compared to the two previous methods. However, it relies heavily on the ability of the person who measures and it takes a lot of practice. So it is not uncommon that different people measuring will give very different results. Bioelectrical impedance is the method that is nowadays mostly used in commercial gyms and by nutritionists, and it doesn't require extremely costly equipment nor specific expertise. It consists of an apparatus that sends a small amount of electrical current through the body, which encounters different degrees of resistance according to the type of tissue that it passes through. Lean tissue is a better conductor than fat tissue, so the current passes through skeletal muscle tissue more quickly than fat tissue. It is less accurate than the previous methods and its results can be altered by a bunch of external factors, such as level of hydration, whether you've been eating or drinking, if you've been just exercising, etc. 
On the other hand, it is quite practical, doesn't require much time to get tested, and it can give you a good estimate provided that you always get tested in the same conditions, preferably at the same time of the day and controlling for food and liquid intake. The last one is my favorite. It doesn't require any equipment other than the measuring tape and either an internet connection, which I suppose you have if you're watching this video, or a calculator and some math skills. It is based on the idea that there is a strong correlation between the ratio of body circumferences at specific sites and body fat percentage. Specifically, hip circumference is a good predictor of body fat in women and the waist circumference is a predictor of body fat for men because that's where fat is mostly stored for each sex. The equation that relates these variables to estimate body fat percentage was developed by the US Navy at the Naval Health Research Center in 1984. So here's how you do it. Step one, if you don't know it already, take your height. Step two, measure your waist. Men must take the circumference of the abdomen at the level of the navel. Women must take the waist at the narrowest point. In addition, women must take the measurement of their hips at the widest point. Step three, measure your neck. Take the measurement of your neck at its narrowest point, which is below the Adam's apple for men. Step 4. Calculate the estimate of your body fat percentage using the formula shown here. If you don't bother with all the numbers, which I suppose you won't, I understand. There's a link in the description with the website where you can enter your data and get your results easy and free. And we'll go through with it in a minute. So once you've clicked on the link, you land on this page. And you can see here where you enter your data. First you choose your unit and then your gender and you enter all the measurements. So here you have and there you go here you have your body fat percentage here and the breakdown of the calculation using the formula. Now if you do bother with the numbers um, there's also a link in the description with all the formulas so you can calculate your own. We'll go through with one of them with my uh, measurements and see if the number makes sense. So this is the equation. I've obviously used the formula for men and took the measurement in centimeters. I won't go through each part of the calculation but just remember that this is within brackets so you have to do this part first and uh, do the log first and then the multiplication and then the addition and subtraction once you have this you divide by um, this by this and then you do the subtraction so we have 10.89 which we um, round to two significant figures which is 11 percent which is the same result i have with uh, using the website as you can see and also it's a very similar result of what i have using the uh, electrical bioimpedance machine so we can see there's we have a good estimate we have consistency in the results so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i hope you find it useful if you have any questions, just drop me a line in the comment section. I'll do my best to reply to as many of you as possible. Thank you and I'll see you next time.